Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Rahul and in this video, we'll be learning about binary patching with the help of an example. Now, before I begin with the example, let me first try to show you what is binary patching. So binary patching is the process of modifying a compiled executable to change the code that is run. Now, this is an example from uh, this is the what documentation sh uh, tells us. But let me just visualize it to you with the help of an example first. So let me just show you a binary that I've created or uh, this is just the source code file. Now, as you can see, this is the source code file. It says that if I is equal to four, now I've in initialized I as four. And the next li line, I'm telling that if I is equal to equal to five, then you'll have to print U1. Now, as you can guess, this will actually never happen. So you will never actually get U1 as an output. This is because the value of i, I have initialized as 4, but I'm comparing it with 5. So, but this is not actually what happens in the real world. You won't be getting this um, binary, you won't be getting this source code file, but instead what you'll be getting is, uh, let me just give you a compiled version of it. But in the real world, what you'll be getting is this binary file. So, what I'll be doing in this binary file is I'll be changing the flow of the instructions so that I get an output of U1. But first of all, let me try to show you that if we get a U1 as an output. Now, as you can see, we do not get anything as an output and that is understandable. So what I'll be doing is I'll be using a debugger called Radar2 and I'll be opening it up in the write mode because we have to change the instructions and we have to analyze it as well. So tag A and let's just type in the name of the file which is exploit now if you do not supply in a tag a what you'll be doing is you'll be typing in trip, uh, a triple times and then you'll be trying typing in afl so what afl does is it analyzes all the functions and then lists them out so these are two functions that are present in the binary the first is main the second is printf so let's just print the function which is main and as you can see we, this is the instruction set so this is the assembly instructions that are being uh, assembly encoded functions and these are the opcodes. So, and this is the memory address that they are stored in. So as you can see, I have stored a value of four into the var eight and I'm comparing it because this is the compare instructions and I'm comparing the var eight, which initially had the value four with five. So what there are two things that I can do right over here. Either I can change the value of four to five or I can change this compare instruction and I can replace this five with four. So what I'll be doing is I'll be replacing this five with a four. Now, how do I do it? First of all, I'll have to reach this memory location. And how do I do it? Either you can set a breakpoint, but I'll be telling you a much handier way. So let's just copy this memory location and I'll be typing in S. So S stands for seek. So you'll be jumping to that memory location. And as you can see, if I type in S again, I, I am in that memory location, which is this. Now what I have to do is I have to just replace this five with the help of, so I just have to replace this five to four. How do I do it? Now W stands for write, but there are other options and varieties and flavors that it comes in. Now, if I were to type in WA, I'll have to write the opcode, which is this entire thing. And I'll replace it with four. But if I type in WX, what I'll be doing is I'll be just replacing the this part with what I want. So this is the encoded assembly function. So let me just do it again. Let me just see where I am at. Again, I'm at the same location because we haven't tampered with it actually. So let me just copy it and WX. Now this, the because this is just the encoded version of this, of this assembly instruction. So this five over here stands for this five. So what I'll be doing is I'll be replacing the five with a four. And let's just see if we have done anything. Now, as you can see, we have replaced this five with four. And if I would type in OOD, and let's like we got an error. So let's just quit and let's just try to run it. And as you can see, we get U1. So this is how we try to, you know, binary patch or try to apply patches to a binary. So I hope you got something out of it. So thank you guys. This is it for the video.